Hey guys, what's up? This is Rob with One Star Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. It's Monday night. It's ramen night. We are going to do Mama. I bought a couple of these probably a, uh, two months ago. I've just been sitting in my cabinet waiting to review this. It's such a teeny tiny uh, packet. Uh, if you look at it, it's, uh, it's 1.94 ounces, which if you compare that to your standard garbage, uh, three ounces of... Um, you know, instant noodle, this is the kind you get like at Walmart or, you know, regular grocery stores. This is three ounces. This is right at two ounces. So this is teeny tiny compared to the ramens I normally eat now, which you want to go down the line. This is the ramen I used to eat all the time, Kung Fu. This is your standard, you know, uh, you know, baseline ramen. And this was, this is three ounces, okay? And we'll review this one a different day. But this is the one right here that really steals the show, right? These guys right here, this is the one that is, I mean, to me, it's the best. So we'll do uh, we'll do the, the, the Shin Ray, Raymond, uh, spell it, <laughs> saying it wrong, the Shin uh, Ramyun uh, Ramen. We'll do this in a, one another day, but you can see how big this one is compared to the Mama, all right? So let's check out the uh, nutrition on it. Hey man, it's not gonna be good because it, it is instant ramen. 1,420 grams of sodium, milligrams of sodium, 35 grams of carbs, and a little bit of fiber, a little bit of protein. So this little tiny little two ounce packet has over almost 1,400, 1,420 milligrams of sodium. Now that's if you empty all the packets out, which I'm gonna do for this review just so you can see what it looks like. But let's go ahead and crank this one up and, uh, and let's see what it is. All right guys, so I got the uh, saucepan heating up. Uh, this thing is so tiny, I'm gonna use my tiny little saucepan today. And the brick is super small, you can see right here. And it comes with three different things right here. It comes with a gooey type something over here, and I can't read that. This is probably your regular seasoning or maybe a vegetable packet right here. And then this is the chili powder. So it's a little tiny chili powder and two other unknowns. All right, so we're boiling already. We'll stick that brick in there, and why not? Let's get it all. And then we're gonna put these uh, unknown foreign substances in here. Ooh, this is like, this is like a weird color, man. It's almost like it was fat. Very clear, very gooey, but very clear. All right, this next one is, yep, that's your seasoning pack. Put most of it in there. Whoa, this stuff is hot. All right, and then we're gonna put the chili powder in. Chili powder is what I enjoy most out of these packets. Boy, that's hot, man. Hold on. I got most of it in there. Again, I don't recommend you, you know, I don't recommend you put the entire seasoning packet in there. It is, there's a lot of sodium in there. So be careful there. Okay. Chopsticks. Okay, it's looking pretty good. And then, now this is a thin noodle. I don't know if you saw that. Let me, uh, let me get a little closer. Actually, we're probably done. You can see this is a pretty thin noodle. All right, pretty thin. I'm kind of used to the, the thicker ones now, but this'll do. All right, let's bowl this up. All right, guys, so we're back in. This is pretty hot. I got this in a regular bowl. Dang, this thing's, that's hot. You can see it right there. Steaming up. It's not as, you know, the, the color of the, of the soup base. It's pretty clear, it's pretty clear. All right, let's see if this is uh, cool enough to eat. All right, here we go. Mama, chicken flavor. I don't know if anybody usually says it like that. Hey, let me have some mama tonight. That's, that, that's, that's pretty disturbing actually. All right, here we go. Again, it's very thin. Let me just get enough on here to burn my tongue. All right. See that? All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
it is really thin, guys. It's not bad. I don't taste, the seasoning is, uh, let me try to get some of the seasoning in here. Guys, ramen, if you don't eat, normally eat ramen, ramen's the best thing you could eat like on a, like a chilly day. You know, a day that uh, it's kind of cold outside. Nice hot warm soup. And this, I, I forget how much this packet was. It was probably right around a dollar. I mean, you can buy cheap ramen, right? You could buy this crap right here for 20, 15 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents. And then upwards to, I think I paid like a dollar dollar ish on these dollar 39 or something like that but if you get a deal somewhere like a costco costco had like a case of these one time man nab these things up and then you got ones like this i don't know i think these were a dollar or so and then of course your, your kung fu's are right around you know 70 80 cents i think maybe a little cheaper but definitely if you're worried about cost i mean it's still super cheap for a meal Now, as I do all the time, I don't never, I never eat ramen straight up like this. I always put stuff in it. It was green onions or mushrooms or chicken or pork or spinach or I, I just, I load the, the thing up. Okay, zero spice on this. Okay, zero spice. And I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. Yeah, zero spice, man. I would say between, you know, one to a, one to ten. It's probably like a two. You know, it does have its dedicated chili powder. It's just not enough. I emptied the whole thing in here, too. So, if you're looking for spicy, right? If you're looking for spicy, I mean, this is, like, I keep pulling this one up, man. This is where you need to live. You know, you have those, uh, like this one, too. You know, everybody knows, everybody knows this one. You know, the spicy ramen. This is, like, extreme. This is when you want, you know, to die, really. But if you want just like a regular, man, toler, I mean, this is the, this is, this is hot, but it's not too hot, right? You can eat it. You could, you could casually eat it. You might sweat a little bit, but this is, this is more of an everyday kind of daily driver noodle. But as far as the mama chicken flavor is concerned, I mean, it's not bad. You know, it's a small, it's really small. It's so it's, this is a light snack. The, the noodles are fine. I mean, they're still better than the uh, than the Walmarts. You know, still better than these. Still better than these. But for my money, if it was this one versus this one versus this one, uh, the Mama's is going to be on the bottom of the list. And then Kung Fu. There's there's a whole bunch of them between Kung Fu and this. This is this is top dog, guys. Um, so there's a lot of them in between. Um, and then I'm going to try this one too. This is this is another brand that I've tried, the Ichiban. I uh, haven't tried this one yet, but look for that in another video. So this is a thumbs up for me, guys. Um, if you like the smaller, you know, bricks, you know, and you don't eat a whole lot of ramen, you know, give this one a shot. Give, let me know what you think. If you don't like spicy, if you don't like hot stuff, this one's probably right up your alley. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. This is Rob with One Star Reviews. Stay safe. God bless you. Do yourself a favor. Love your neighbor. And I'll see you next time.